Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this acid trance sequence, maybe. I don't really know exactly what to call it, but anyway, it sounds like this. All right, so let's get into this here. So this patch is gonna be a little bit more in depth than usual. So there's gonna be some automation going on. So let's turn this off for now. And let's also turn off our effect slots here and our reverb here. So looking at just the patch itself, it's gonna sound something like this. So we have the core feature or the core sound of this patch, the automation and the effects kind of just enhance what's already there. So we have four voices for unison, so let's turn this up to one just for now and listen to see what just one voice sounds like. Now let's turn off our chorus and our turn off our delay here as well. So something to keep in mind here, so we're going to be using two oscillators here, and the first one is going to be pulse, and it's going to be in the center, so basically a square wave, and then the oscillator B is going to be no pulse wave, anything like that, but it is going to be pitched up 24 semitones, so two octaves, and it's really going to be carrying that very top end of this arpeggiated pattern. So if you look in our balance here for oscillators, it's going to be 55%, so it's going to lean slightly more, so 5% more on oscillator B. So oscillator A sounds like this kind of carrying that low end and oscillator B is going to sound like this. Now when we mix those at 55%, we get a decent healthy balance of both aspects. So moving on to our filter here, so our cutoff is going to be 72%, our resonance 35%, no keyboard tracking or velocity tracking, and it's going to be using a low pass here. So then this is going to be also affected by our envelope here. And the, as you can see, this is cut off right here. The amount is going to be starting off at 13% because this amount is, I did automate it to make a cool effect as you heard in the beginning of the song. And then this attack here of the envelope is 482 milliseconds. The rest, the decay, sustain and release are all the way at the top. Then moving on to our LFO, this is a cool effect too because this is going to affect the panning at two fourths tempo sync, which is very interesting because as you listen to the sound, it's kind of slowly moving left and right, giving the sound a little bit of motion. And we can see that on the meters as well. They're kind of going left and right and left and right again. So if this, so this is 33%. So if we put this back in the center, it's a lot more static. As we bring this up, it kind of moves it. And this is exaggerated. And headphones kind of makes it sound a little sick. But anyway, down to 33% is a pretty good, healthy spot for it. And for amplifier, the attack is going to be one millisecond, decay sustain at the top, and then release at the bottom. And if you haven't already noticed, there's going to be an arpeggiator on it, so it's going to be going up, and it's going to be going two octaves at one over 16. And if we look actually at our pattern here, these are going to be the notes that are, is going to be playing here. And then moving on, we added some delay here. So this is also just a little bit to give it a little bit of openness to it. The left and the right is going to be also is, are, are going to be both at two four, feedback at fifty percent, mod depth at thirty percent, low cut forty two percent, high cut hundred percent, and then the wet is at twenty three. So I brought that down quite substantially because I didn't want it to be too exaggerated. And then the chorus, I like the defaults at the uh, at for the depth for forty nine fifty percent whatever it is, the rate at two point six, and then I brought the wet down just a little bit. Because generally with Poison, I feel like the chorus, the the default settings sound pretty good out of the box when you turn it on. It's kind of just up to the wet knob as well to control how much you want of that. And then the really cool part here is also going to be this trance gate, which I, I left this default as well because I felt it sounded pretty good for this patch. But this is going to be tempo sync to 1 over 32. And then the wet's only going to be at 40%, so it has a little bit of that trancing to it. Exaggerated would be like this. Still sounds cool, but not necessarily right for this patch I felt. So back to 40%. And the last thing, last thing to really change in this patch is going to be the unison back to four. So here's the difference of that. 
So it opens it up just a little bit. And I also added a little bit of glide time at 36%. Too much would be kind of too carried away. So keep that in mind. And then the whole patch is also gonna be down two octaves, so minus 24. Detune's gonna be 10% and the unison pan 100%. So now we're gonna move on to external effects. So if we go to our channel here, let's turn all these on and let's go through these individually. So the first one I added was going to be this flu fruity blood overdrive. This is off. This plugin is one of my favorites for distortion. It sounds very good and it really just brightens up anything if you wanna make it a little bit more aggressive. It's a very good go-to for that. Next, we have an EQ here, which I took off the low end. It kind of scooped out that low mids there because they seemed, that, seemed quite uh, quite annoying to me. And then I also brought up some of the highs and then kind of tucked to the, the uh, maybe no, I think it's a little, I don't even know if I changed this one at all. But it sounds like this with the EQ on. So we still get that low end, but not any of that mud down there. Just kind of clearing up the sound just a little bit here and then usual a little compressor here as well and it's not really catching too much maybe two or three db at some points here at a four to one ratio so it's really just to kind of control tame the sound down just a little bit and this last one is just kind of cutting off the top end right there as well That's totally up to, up to you, taste, if you wanna cut off that top end or not. I kinda of find they're they're both good, they're both, it really depends for the patch, I guess, or the sound you're putting this in. So let's leave the off for now, and then let's look into the automation. So this is really where it kinda of gets interesting. So if we look in our playlist here, so the first thing that we're gonna be automating is going to be this band frequency, which is the fourth one here, which is kind of what I was talking about. So in the beginning here, if we press stop, you can see this EQ is all the way at the bottom. As we play, So it's gonna open up the sound right as this drop would come in where the drums generally would come in as well. So if we turn on the drums here, That's gonna be right where everything opens up. So now we have this EQ sweep that opens everything up. Next, we wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So the next thing is going to be the envelope amount. So let's turn this on here and let's look at our synth here. So it's gonna be this knob right down here. So in the beginning, it's gonna be almost all the way down and it's slowly increasing. So it goes very exaggerated to the top and then bounces right back down where it should stay at around, what is that, 13%. Later in the song, I also changed that a little bit as you can hear here. And at the same time, I also automated that EQ as well, just a little differently. So if we go back to our last EQ here, watch right here. So it's just a small little change just to make this, this sound a little bit more interesting as we listen to it. And then the last thing that we automated here is going to be the noise, which adds some cool effects to it as well. So we go to the beginning and then let's load up Poison again. And then we look at this noise button, right? Or this noise knob. So at the beginning, it's all the way at the off and it kind of raises up here, two bars right before it comes in and then it stops. So let's go back here and watch here. And we can see that's it right here in the spectrum view. That's what that noise knob is doing right there. And then it plays the whole pattern by itself kind of untouched. And then on the second count of that or the second repeat of that, that's when it's gonna change a little bit to make it a little more interesting. And I also added some noise here as well, just a tad bit. And then the very last touch is to send it to a little bit of reverb here to kind of open it up. And this is what it's gonna sound like as a complete product. And 
And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you like the patch or like the video, press the like, and we'll see you in the next video.